videos, the ones that are 10 DIYs, 5 minute crafts, I've done 2 in the past, so I figured that since you guys love it so much, and I love making them, we should put a festive spin on this and do a Christmas themed one. So get ready because this is going to be... Dun -dun 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 -dun. Oh, and if you guys want to watch my other 10 DIY videos, I will have them linked in the description box, so you can totally go binge watch them all together. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you join our subby squad. So all you gotta do is click the big red subscribe button down below, and you instantly become my best friend. I can't wait for you guys to see this video. I just, oh, can't wait. So if you guys want to watch my 10 DIYs, fun 5 minute crafts, and DIY project ideas for the holidays, then just keep on watching. Alrighty, you guys. Wait, why did I just sound like a pirate? Anywho, what we're making is this melted bead frame. You're going to need some cookie cutters of your choosing and some pony beads. So just take a baking pan and line it with some nonstick foil. Place your cookie cutters down and you want to fill it up with as many pony beads as you can fit inside without causing any to go up on their side. That's super important. You want to make sure they're all flat. If you have any really open spaces, I would recommend cutting some of the pony beads to fill in. gluing them all around the frame and you can use this as a picture frame or you can also use it as a dry erase board. Bring them inside the mold. So now it's the best time, which is obviously topping time. I just decided to use one for each of my toppings, and I don't know, you guys, which one would you want? I would probably want the bottom right, which is the chocolate chips. The more chocolate, the better. But I'm curious which one you guys would pick, so leave a comment down below. After they harden, they are ready to do their job and serve their purpose and make you a nice cup of hot cocoa. And it was so good, you guys. DIY number three are these paint chip gift tags. This is beyond easy. All you're going to need are your paint chips. And I decided instead of going online and printing out a template to just use my cookie cutters. Even the stars in the sky can't outshine your eyes. Once you cut them out, you have these super easy, very cute DIY gift tags. You guys, I'm obsessed with this DIY. It's a crayon ornament, so all you're going to do is take an ornament, open it up, and put in some little pieces of crayon, and use a hair dryer. The hair dryer is going to melt all the crayons and they just blend together and create this rainbow galaxy type of feel and it's just so much fun to watch them all melt and to just create this little mini masterpiece. Wow, you can tell how passionate I am about this one. A beautiful sight, we're happy tonight, walking in the winter wonderland. Now this is a good one. I'm gonna show you guys how to make DIY Reese's trees. You'll need one cup of creamy peanut butter, one fourth cup melted unsalted butter, two cups powdered sugar, and 12 ounces of chocolate chips. In a mixing bowl, you're going to add the peanut butter. Next, add in the melted butter, and you're going to also be adding in two tablespoons of brown sugar. 
and don't forget one teaspoon of salt. You're going to stir that all together and then gradually mix in the powdered sugar. A kingdom of isolation and it looks like I'm the queen. Once your dough has formed, you're going to take a baking sheet and line it with some parchment paper. Put your dough inside and flatten it out to about half an inch thick. Now, unfortunately, you gotta take a break and you gotta put it in the freezer. But once it comes out, it's time for fun and we're going to cut it. So because I'm making Reese's trees, I obviously need to use a tree cookie cutter. I just wanted to mention really quick that this does take longer than five minutes, but it's just because you have to do a couple rounds of freezing. Girl, let it go. It's so much easier to work with the dough if it's frozen, so put that again in the freezer. And when they feel pretty firm, you can go ahead and cover them in chocolate. And then we could do my second favorite part, and that is decorating them. My first favorite part is definitely eating them. This is probably my favorite room decor piece right now. Come and kiss me, baby. We don't you know. We're making a monogram festive AF. Just take a wooden letter and some yarn, and I decided to use some of this blanket yarn so it's plush. You guys, it is so soft. Are you down for some of these milk and cookies? Down for loving you, being my drum. My theme for my letter is Candy Cane Lane, so I really can't stress how much I love this yarn. I just wanna wrap myself in it, it is so soft. And once I finish covering my entire letter, I'm having some real fun because I'm adding some jingle bells. Oh my gosh, you guys. Baby, let me know. Can you handle how cute and festive this is? I personally can't deal, I'm, I'm in love. DIY project number seven is one of my favorites out of this video, and they are these fabric magnets. What you'll need are some of these clear little gem pebbles, and I got mine from Michaels, but most craft stores usually just have them in the floral section. In addition, you'll need some fabric of your choice. I decided to go for a snowflake flannel, and this could not be any easier. You're going to apply some Mod Podge onto the back of the clear gem. Just stick it down wherever you want and cut off the excess. The moon is right. And the last step is to just stick a magnet on the back of there and then they're done. And I don't know about you, but I love them. I think they turned out so cool and they're so unique and customizable. A wonderful Christmas time. Yay, time for more food. So now we're making some peppermint pretzel crisps. The party's on. The feeling's here. I'm going to take some melted white chocolate and then just cover a bunch of pretzel crisps. And then to top them off, you're going to sprinkle some crushed peppermint. Ready on nine, this is a snowman candle. Now for the holidays. I just found this clear candle at the dollar store and I'm drawing a face of a snowman on there. Just make your snow in California. I'll never settle for it. To make it kind of 3D and an official snowman, you need some buttons. I'm just gluing some mismatched buttons down the front. And there's one more thing the snowman needs, and that is a scarf. I took some red ribbon and tied it around, and then I even fringed the edges. It's time for the holidays. Holla back, holla hey. I just stuck a little hot glue there, and he is perfect. He's such a fun, festive little candle. Never turning down the best time of the year is coming around. And we did it. We're at the end, you guys. The last DIY project for this video is a pine cone Christmas tree. Get in the air, all the lights shine bright. Age one to ninety. No sleep tonight. So we're gonna start off with all the painting. I'm giving my mini pot a coat of white paint, and then I'm going and giving my pine cone some green paint. We gotta bring that tree to life, you know. For my pot, I ended up going with a Fair Isle inspired look, and then I just put some styrofoam in it. Of course, I glued the pine cone down, and because I am so extra, I topped it off with some fake snow and a little mini wooden star. Make Jack Frost go put on a coat. And they were all 10 of my DIY project ideas, and you have to leave a comment down below and let me know which one was your fave. And I promise I'm literally going to read all of the comments, but I have one last thing I wanted to mention, and that is that I have a huge holiday giveaway 
giveaway going on right now. If you want to know all of the deets and how to enter, I will just leave a link in the description box to my giveaway video. I really hope that you're having a Merry Christmas season, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!